Paris. The City of Light is also a city of music, and has been since its earliest days. In the last years before the revolution of the 1790s, many distinguished composers made Paris their home. In particular, we find Joseph Bologna, Chevalier de Saint-Georges, a native of the French West Indies and the son of a wealthy planter and a black slave. An expert fencer as well as composer, he gifted posterity with violin works and operas, of which his The Anonymous Lover has survived intact. The revolution of the 1790s put quite the crimp on musical activity, but by the 1820s, Paris was back open for business. A young Polish pianist and composer named Frédéric Chopin settled in Paris in the 1830s, where he taught piano and published his remarkable piano works. His first piano concerto dates from around 1830, when Chopin was only about 20 years old. In the 1880s, an aging, Belgian-born organist and teacher named César Franck underwent a burst of radiant creativity. It's just a handful of works, but they're all bedrock repertory, none more than the majestic Symphony in D minor from 1889, an orchestral staple for more than a century. So that's our February program, Chopin in Paris. Come experience the city of light and music with us, and you won't even need a passport. Music